Well, hey, uh, people out there in America, uh, Japan, China, and all them places like that, well, welcome to the YouTube channel, Country Jim Garage. Today, we have a special uh, treat. We have Biltong. It's a delicacy. Uh, it, my friend, uh, his name's Guy. He made some, and so I would give it a try, and I wanted to give it a little view on the channel. Now, today, you notice I'm wearing my uh, nice t-shirt. A lot of people love this t-shirt, you know. Um, it does have our president on there and his vice, you know. Uh, so, we uh, we like to wear the shirt and everything. A sort of support. Now, my team lost last night. Poor guys are uh, collapsing, you know. Well, they had them a bad run, so, you know, it's just, it happens. But we got all our good stuff. We got some coffee and stuff like that. We got our nice little setup. Now look here, this right here is called Piton. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. Um, it's, a, it's a South African treat. Okay, this is like a beef jerky, but it is a lot better than just regular beef jerky. Now this is called Piton. Now as you can see, it's got all kinds of spices and stuff on there. Um, and so it, it ought to taste a little, a little good there. Let's see what... Let's learn a little bit more on the encyclopedia on here. Um, uh, Bitton is Dutch for meat strip. It has been eaten in South Africa for centuries. The cured snack was originally brought by the European settlers uh, and adapted by natives as a hunting snack over the years. Alright, so it's cured a little bit different than you eat other meats, you know. With some vinegar and it's air dried for about a week. And it has to be in a certain setup and, uh, you know, air dried, okay? Now, a lot of people ask, is Bipton, is it bad for you? Well, it looks like it is high in sodium with some types up to 20% of your daily sodium allowance per ounce. That's 28 grams, okay? All right, research suggests that excessive sodium intake may have to affect your heart health and blood pressure. That dog just can't wait. He wants to get him some of that. He'll talk to him today. We'll have to get, he'll have to get some later. All right. Enough of this whole hunky talking stuff. I'm going to get right to it. And we're going to see what kind of a treat this is, okay? All right. Now, this bag right here, this bag came from the Dollar General. It's one of them double lock and ziplock bags. I paid a pretty dollar or two for it, so, you know, it better be good. Uh, oh, shoot. I ain't got no steak knife. Well, what I do have is my old handy, dandy pocket knife. You can't go wrong. We're going to give them a try, okay? All right. If you want to take a look at that right there, just look at the beautiful. That was beautifully made. Uh, that was made here in the United States of America um, by my friend Guy. And uh, you can leave comments or whatnot in there, and, and uh, oh, you know, I can uh, tell you more information about the feather if you'd like. What we're gonna do here, we're gonna go give them a try, okay? Now, I know this stuff ain't cheap, I don't think, but mm. We're going to get an old bit of that and give it a proper test. Tastes too good and not try another piece. That's a USDA choice. Now, uh, when you buy you know, it, out, probably lasts me for a couple of hours at least. So I like to eat jerky. I'm a big jerky connoisseur, and that's what I do. Yeah, that's delicious. Got a little, little spice to it, you know, but it's not that crazy. If you like tasty food and you don't like to burn them taste tubs, you know, them uh, taste buds out your mouth, and you know, this is for you. Okay, I'm going to I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to let a couple other people try this because 
it's, it's really good. Now, I don't really see it bought in the stores, you know. I see beef jerky and stuff like that, but I don't see none of this right here, so this is a good find. And uh, I definitely want to get me some more, you know. I, I'd give this a good thumbs up, two thumbs up on that one. Uh, really tasty. Uh, it's a good treat, especially if you want to do a little something different in your regular big jerky. Okay. Now, I do not know if Biden would support this. Uh, by God, I don't know. But I tell you this much. This red net right here, he, I, I support it. I, I, I support it. Thank you for choosing uh, Country Gym Garage. And we'll be back with you later, folks. And don't forget, always have your duct tape.